Thank you, Madam Speaker. It was one year ago today at 6.05 p.m. this evening that an eight-lane steel truss span bridge collapsed into the Mississippi River in Minneapolis. I'm sure we all remember that strange and surreal sight of a bridge laying in the very river it used to span and the images of vehicles that were crushed in the debris. As a school teacher, for me, the most poignant and, and terrifying image was that of a school bus balanced over the abyss as it was about to plunge into the steel and concrete below, but whose occupants were safely all unharmed. Unfortunately, not everyone on that bridge made it home safely. Thirteen people were killed in the tragedy. That those numbers weren't higher was in no small part to the hundreds of firefighters, police, emergency personnel, and ordinary citizens who rushed to the aid of their fellow Americans. Their direct actions immediately following this tragedy saved lives and eased suffering. Ordinary residents of Minneapolis displayed extraordinary courage on August 1st. We're here today to note this sad occasion and to remember those who were lost. Construction on a new bridge is underway. It will be wider, longer, more reliable, and safer. And I thank my colleague who spoke earlier, Mr. Ellison, for his leadership on that, but it won't bring back those who tragically died. Let us learn from this disaster and ensure it never happens again. Gentlemen, and I time yield has back. Expired. For what